We are now witnessing the altering of gender, the confusion and merging of male and female, man and woman, boys and girls, sexuality itself. What if behind it all was actually an ancient spirit? What if we could identify that spirit and reveal it? We're going to do just that. This is Jonathan Kahn. The Return of the Gods is my latest book that I've written that opens up a mystery that is behind everything that is happening in America, in our culture, in the world, what's transforming it and touching your life and the people in your life. And what we need to know, because where it's all heading, what's going to happen, and what do we need to know to prevail? Now, we're giving a taste of what's revealed in full in the book. It's the mystery of the returning spirits that have come back into our culture. We spoke of the dark trinity, the, the three primary principalities that have come back, that were there in ancient times, come back into modern times, modern culture, and to America. The second one is called the Enchantress, the goddess. She was, as we saw, the goddess of sexual immorality. And so in the 1960s, as America turned away from God, we saw the sexual revolution. But there was something else. There was something strange about this goddess. It's linked to Venus. Remember, she was called Venus by the Romans. It was called Ishtar by the Babylonians. Ashtora in the Bible. But the reason linked to Venus actually is linked to the, to the planet because that's why Venus is called Venus because that planet or that light in the sky was always linked to this principality long before they called the principality Venus. And Venus was called the morning star. It was also called the evening star. Interesting. Opposites. And so the goddess actually was the merging about the merging of opposites, barriers, limits, the breaking of limits, the breaking of lines, not just in things like that, but in human nature itself. I found an ancient inscription concerning the goddess I put into the book, The Return of the Gods. She says, I am a woman. And she says, I am a man. I am a woman. I am a man. In an ancient hymn to the goddess, it says, she turns a man into a woman and a woman into a man. So the enchantress, the seductress, the goddess of the sexual revolution was also the principality of bending gender, blurring sexuality, confusing it, merging it, replacing one with the other, male with female and female with male, subverting it, altering it, man as woman, woman as man, sexuality and gender. So what would we expect to happen if she returned to our world? What we'd expect to happen is exactly what has happened. And notice something, notice how it happened. First, it didn't come out at first because at first it was too radical. That the, the, the America of the 1960s would never have been able to deal with that because it was the first step. Back there was the sexual revolution. But it's going to lead to that and has led to that as this spirit comes in, first the sexual revolution, weakening a marriage. Then as she takes possession of the culture, we're going to see more and more now the deeper, darker work, which is the, the blending, merging, blurring, confusing and destroying of gender. And so that's what's going to happen. And so that's exactly why we are now witnessing what we are witnessing that man as woman, woman as man, man turning into woman, woman turning into man, the confusing and blender. It is the sign that the enchantress, the seductress, who is now, who is also the transformer, is now possessing, taking possession of America. See, when you turn away from God, this is what you're going to turn to. Now, we could have, if we had known the mystery back then, when America started taking prayer out, started emptying itself of God's presence, we could have said, we could have said then, it was going to go here because this is from ancient times. This is where you go. It's either God or paganism, God or this. This is just a taste. We're going to get deeper, much deeper into this. But this is just a taste of the mystery revealed in full in the return of the gods. And the return of the gods is revealing the mystery that is behind everything that's happening. What we're dealing with, as you can see, why and what and what's really happening and where is it going? What's the future and what do you need to know to prevail? The Return of the Gods is literally everywhere 
It's, it's everywhere where there are books. You can get it for yourself and also for people in your life who need to know. Now, next time, we're going to get into the ancient mystery and spirit behind the morphing of men. Hit subscribe so you don't miss it. This is Jonathan Kahn. I'll see you next time with the morphing of men. And it's interesting, it came at the same time of the sexual revolution in the 60s. It's the spirit of the goddess. It's the rage of the goddess that came into radical feminism. It grinds away, seeks to remove men. This is what the goddess does.